What is going on, Minecraft Java Edition players that play Minecraft Java Edition with Amethyst Launcher? Today, we're going to check out my mod pack, OptiMobile. OptiMobile was made with Amethyst in mind. So, yeah, it has sodium. That's all I'm going to say. Let's jump in and check it out because I'm going to do a performance kind of proven test. Show you that OptiMobile does kind of help with performance. <laughs> That is right, mobile gamers. Today, I'm gonna to share with you a mod pack that I created specifically for Amethyst Launcher that allows you to use shaders with fabric and it also helps with performance. This mod pack, again, has sodium in it. Do not ask for help within the Amethyst Discord because, well, Discord, not Disfloored. I don't know why I said that, because they won't help you. Sodium, they say is not supported. I think you should be able to use sodium and that's with the help of a podium mod by somebody that created a mod basically for basically circumventing the usability of sodium. But if you have issues with sodium and you go into their discord for amethyst, they're not going to help you. They're going to tell you otherwise. So I've got that disclaimer out of the way. If I find out that you've gone into amethyst and said, oh, Mr. DNA said that sodium, blah, blah, blah. Well, that means that you didn't listen to my intro of the video. Stay off the TikTok and listen to everything I say. Now that that's out of the way, again, I'm giving away codes on the channel as well. If you want to get yourself a free Java Minecraft account, I am giving away a bunch of them throughout the month of December because I'm extra giving during the month of December. And I used to give away devices, but I thought maybe giving away multiple different games. I'm even giving away Skyrim right now and a couple other games on the channel. And I thought that would be better than trying to send a $300 device overseas or to North America in general. Now that that's all out of the way, what we're gonna do here is we're going to just play 1.2, 1.10. I know 1.211 came out today, whatever, but we're not doing that one because there's not all the mods yet readily available. Now, OptiMobile is on the modern website for the mod pack, which is what we're gonna be using today. So if you go to your great mod pack profile, type in the search bar OptiMobile, then you'll be able to see OptiMobile fabric right there. Now, don't install the Forge one unless you're using Forge. It's only for Embedium. I have Embedium working as well, but just install the 1.21.10 version and click install. Now that that's installed, then we can be ready for this big test. What I'm gonna do is basically just run a vanilla instance with 1.21.10. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to set it up and I'm gonna show you how much performance I get with a vanilla instance. And then I'm gonna show you how much performance you can get with the same settings basically with my mod pack, okay? And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna check out the FPS counter on the top left hand side or on the top of the screen basically with the F3 menu. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna set this up. So right now I have eight render distance, eight chunks, fancy, uh, V-Sync I'm gonna turn off so I can see the unlimited frame rate. We're also gonna check out the clouds. The clouds are set to fancy and entity distance. I actually have that set to 75 within this mod pack. And the reason why is because I find that entity distance, if you lower it a bit, it does help. Biome blend, I also have turned off. And for the shadows, I have entity shadows turned on still, but if you turn off shadows, you can actually help with performance too. Mitmap levels, I have those all the way turned off too. And I think that's about it. Pretty much everything else is the same. I also have VSync turned off. I have simulation distance set to eight and eight. And also that's all the same with the um, mod pack. Actually the simulation distance, I have it set to 12. So the only difference is, is the max shadow distance. You can change that in sodium, which helps a lot. Um, again, there's also other things you can do to get more performance, but we're using uh, max resolution scale as well. So we're gonna go look at that for a second. So quick settings, and I'm using 100% resol, or no, I'm using 75%. So let's use 100% so we can actually test this properly. Of course, down to 75% does help, but the reason why I have it at 75% is because I think it looks fine on this device, but let's jump in and we're going to create a brand new world. I don't know why there's a world right there, but go to normal and we're going to create a new world and check this out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this world and we're going to paste it over into my uh, mod pack and we're going to see what kind of performances we get. Now, the F3 menu, we should be able to open it up here if I can find where the buttons are. Okay, there they are. And you can see the FPS on the top left-hand side of the screen. 
Now the FPS right here, we're just gonna basically, again, copy the save over so we can see if we get more FPS when we're doing this like this. I'm using the uh, Odin portal right now, and this device basically allows you to uh, boost performance and everything as well with performance tweaks. So we're getting about 300 FPS right now, which is pretty good, but you're not gonna want to, you know, keep your FPS counter sitting like that. And I've told you guys that before in the past, you'll probably wanna just lock your FPS to uh, 60 or 120. So I would suggest 60 if your refresh rate is at 60, 120 if your refresh rate's at 120. And that's basically all up to my preference. But again, we're getting about three, 330 FPS with where we are right now and this is actually a good seed to actually uh check this out so let's go over let's actually delete the the second world here i don't know why there was a world in there maybe that was just because i had an old folder and go back and what we're going to do is go open game directory we're going to go into our instances uh, which is in our version setting 1.2 1.10 or sorry, not 1.2, 1.10. It's actually just gonna be in our .minecraft folder and our saves is going to be right here. We're gonna copy this, copy to, we're gonna go back to Amethyst. We're gonna go to our custom instances for OptiMobile and we can go into our saves and paste that right there. Not sure why there's a world in there. Maybe that's because I already had it downloaded before. I'm not sure, that's really strange. Okay, so let's go to custom instances. <laughs> let's delete that second save i'm not sure what's going on here maybe amethyst is bugging out we're gonna go into opti mobile so opti mobile you should be using mobile glues with anything above 1.17 and it should just automatically select it anyways so we're gonna jump back into that same world i'm gonna show you the settings first and we're also gonna change the max frame rate from 60 to unlimited so you can actually see all this and then like i said just go check out that mod pack and have fun with it I thought it would be good to have a mod pack that was actually easy to basically set up and get ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna change this from 60 to unlimited. I'm gonna show you all the other settings. They're all the same, okay guys? If you wanna compare it, go ahead and do so, or call me a liar, whatever you wanna do. Let's go with new world. That's the world that we were just in. And we're gonna check out the FPS and see what kind of FPS we're getting on the screen. And we're just gonna wait for it to boot in and load in and we'll see if we are getting more FPS, which we most definitely are. 400 FPS, 430, 440. We're almost getting 100 more FPS than we were when we left last time. I know it's kind of, you know, leveling itself out here, but we're actually getting, yeah, 400. Like, I think anything above 75 to 100 FPS more by using a mod pack like this is freaking great. And we're still using 100% resolution scaler. Now, I know people are gonna be like, oh, that's because your world already rendered in blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, not exactly. I've tested this on multiple different devices. Um, I've also tested loading in a new world on two different devices, well, two of the same devices, but two different ones, because I have two devices that are exactly the same. And I could compare side by side with the same seed and they both, showed a huge significant performance boost with all the mods that i put in here and again that's the other thing is like you can change things like more settings inside of sodium if you want to um like the max shadow distance you can disable that you can change your render distance down obviously uh for quality you can go down here and turn off entity shadows that does help a lot especially if there's a lot of entities in the area you can also change down how far you see the entities and that helps as well and that's why you know like sodium and stuff like that as you can see here it's already boosting that performance and there's no shadows with these pigs especially if you have a big farm of animals and stuff those shadows i've tested this out multiple times those shadows do make your device slug a lot now again sodium isn't going to fix a low-end spec device okay i'm not i'm going to tell you that right now no matter the case sodium is not going to fix your device if your device is already kind of a lower end phone or whatever it just helps with performance it helps with other mods that are in this pack i don't know what's going on with these chunks here that's really strange weird um yeah that's a weird kind of <laughs> how that rendered in there 600 fps holy crap let's look at the sky for a second that's one big thing i like to do <laughs> look at the sky a thousand fps that's nuts um now that's because there's like nothing up there right so enjoy this if you want to use opti mobile go ahead and do so and don't forget to share opti mobile around again don't ask for support in amethyst discord because they will not help you